Yeah, good morning YouTube. So I did one other experiment last night. I ran this area right in here, these two squares and then that back section. I used some Easy Off oven cleaner on that, sprayed it on pretty heavy and brushed it into that entire area. Probably let it sit 15 or 20 minutes and then I mopped that up. And initially it looked really good. Those areas looked white. But then as the water dried up from the mopping overnight, everything came back just about the same darkness. And I think I finally figured out what's going on. So what I just did before I turned the camera on is I poured a little water on the floor. And you can see this is the dark area. It doesn't get any darker when it gets wet yet the lighter area gets much darker when it gets wet. So I think this lighter concrete is not saturated with the mastic residue, so it absorbs water a lot better, and thus this looks very dark, and this looks relatively light. It's actually still absorbing the water. It doesn't bead up on the surface, but you can see how here it's spread out a lot more. It kind of soaks in and, and spreads. While here it's just a small area and here it's just where I poured the water on. It's kind of an optical illusion when this uh, concrete gets wet. The dark areas don't get any darker. In fact, they almost lighten up a little bit. And the light areas get very dark. But anyway, I think I have exhausted all the possibilities for trying to lighten these dark areas up, but I think I can take advantage of this effect right here. And I found a uh, company that makes a tinted or colored concrete sealer. And they have three different kinds available. They have one that's a natural finish, one that's a gloss finish, and then one that's kind of a satin finish. They have probably uh, two dozen different colors you can pick. The way they work, they're a, a transparent stain type of uh, sealer. They soak into the concrete. So my initial plan was try to lighten the dark areas so that everything's this kind of color. If I go the other way, I can try to darken these light areas with that transparent sealer and the light areas should absorb more of the colored sealer than the darker areas. And then they also sell a concrete etching material. It's a non-acidic etching compound. It helps degrease the surface before you apply the sealer. So I think I'll do those two things because I need to put a sealer on here anyway and I need to do a final cleaning and degreasing. So I might as well do that with the cleaner for the sealer and then I'll put the sealer down. So now I just have to pick out a color and then I figured the concrete etch will come over and finish doing that cleaning. So I'll probably do that then with the floor machine. Spray the concrete etch down and that's what I'll go over the entire surface with once I bot clean all the areas. So that'll probably be my last step after I get the uh, rest of the floor stripped. I'm, I think I'm going to do the next section tonight because all of my patches have cured up. So yeah, this is where I had the largest of the cracks here. And I've pretty much got the uh, cracked surface filled up. I just have to go over and sand off a little bit of the excess. Otherwise, I think the crack pretty much disappeared. And then that was the other reason I was thinking about doing a stain because this area here where I've sanded has now become quite a bit lighter than the rest of the floor. I've got that area, then I've also got the new concrete patch on the other side of the room that are light, and then I've got these uh, darker areas where the mastic had stained a little bit. So you can see, like, this is about the color that the floor was before I started sanding this, uh, this section out. Yeah, I just have to uh, pick which gloss of sealer I want and which color. 
and then I'll get that stuff ordered and then I should be about set once I get the rest of the floor stripped because I probably have a couple more sessions of stripping. I think I can do one more and I'll get to about half the floor and then maybe three more so about four more stripping sessions because I can't do the whole thing at once it's just too much area to keep liquid all at once with the problem is you'll end up with spots like that that came about because I didn't get that cleaned up before it had had a chance to soak in a little bit if you try to do too much you can actually make more work for yourself yeah I just thought I'd pass along those tips and show you the progress and my little experiments on cleaning that haven't worked as I had expected but I think I can make it work as a bare concrete floor and then just use a light colored uh, transparent stain and I think that will have the desired effect. So I'll let you know as I get farther along, make a choice on stain color and gloss and all that. And as always, thanks for watching.